Hey guys, in this video we're going to review factoring techniques and identify when to use what technique depending on the given expression. So when you have two terms and both of those terms have perfect squares in them, you're going to consider that that is a difference of squares or a sum of squares. If it's a difference, you can do the plus minus pattern and you cannot factor at this point a sum of squares. So you will indicate not factorable for that one. If you have two terms and you've got perfect cubes in those terms, 27, 125, 64, 8, x cubed, all of those are perfect cubes. You're going to look at the difference of cubes pattern and the sum of cubes pattern, depending on which one you're given. And you can use soap on those, pull those roots out. Um, you know, however you were taught to use these, this would be what you would use for to, in order to factor those, to break those apart. If you have three terms, sometimes you'll be able to recognize a pattern like that top one. If you pull the roots out and you do the double in the middle, that's kind of a square double square. So that indicates that this is a perfect square trinomial. And in the second case, we've got three terms and we don't have a GCF. There are several possibilities. So for that one, you could use the AC method or trial and error. So that's how I would factor those. My preference for the second one is AC method because you just can't go wrong with that. And finally, when you have four terms, you will use the grouping method where you take the, um, the first two terms and group them, the second two terms and group them, and then write your final expression. And that's a bird's eye view of our factoring techniques.